A few days has passed now, Caitlin Thwaites. How does it feel to be a member of the 2014 Commonwealth Games netball team? It's very, very exciting and, um, yeah, I feel really honoured to be amongst such a, an amazing group of girls. It's, um, yeah, we've, we've got a pretty close bond um, over the last couple of years and it's, um, it's very exciting for times ahead. You're very, very close with your family. Now tell us when you called them, how did it go down? I just actually sent a text message and said, OK, you can book flights now. <laughs> because they've been, um, yeah, umming and ahhing whether, like, do we do we book flights? And I've just been telling them, hold off, hold off. Like, I don't want you to waste money if I don't get picked. So, um, yeah, so I just sent a text message saying, yes, you can book flights. <laughs> well, you've been one of the most prolific goal scorers in the ANZ Championship for quite some time now. How important was the move to the Swifts this year to obtaining that goal? I think it's been really important just to get back to playing an Australian style of game and the Swifts are an amazing team to be able to do that with. We move the ball really fast, that's one of our um, our real strengths. So um, yeah, having having that, um, I guess, come back into my game has, has been a really, um, really great starting point for me to, um, to keep building. You've grown a really great relationship, I guess, with Susan Prattley, both on court and off court. Yeah. Must be a, quite a bittersweet feeling knowing that she won't be on that plane with you to Glasgow. It really is, and I think, I mean, a cr credit to Pratt's, I think she's been a really big part of um, me being able to get there this year. And for her to, to miss out, she's been an absolutely amazing shooting partner for me um, to be able to, to play at my best and... Um, you know, it's it's just really, um, I guess, gut wrenching that she's she's not going to be there with me. Um, yeah, I think we have formed a really good combination, and um, yeah, we've still got the Swifts to look forward to. <laughs> Speaking of that, you both have a big big task coming up on Monday night against the Fever. Um, it's going to be a tough ask over in Perth Arena. It definitely is. It's really hard to travel over there. It's the longest travel um, trip that we've got this year, and. Um, I guess the Fever are really, um, you know, we've got some great players in their team this year and are definitely going to be looked to um, upsetting a few um, people's road to the finals. So it's, um, yeah, so it's, it's going to be a tough one over there. We're coming off back-to-back -back wins against the Steel and the Vixens, but Rob Wright was saying we've still not put in that 60-minute performance that we need to do, and he wants it to start on Monday. <laughs> yes, we are always looking for that perfect performance, and it's, um, yeah, I, I guess we're still a way away from, from getting there, but, um, you know, always got things to focus on, always got things to work on, so we're going to be um, be looking and, and trying to, I guess, keep it, a, keep it a bit simple in terms of the tasks that we've, um, that we've got ahead of us. Well, congratulations again, and we look forward to seeing you in Glasgow. Awesome. Thanks. <laughs>